everyone, welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate notebooks. Okay, so I know what you're probably thinking this would have been better to either do over a uh, holiday break or in summer right before back to school, but I kind of want to decorate my notebooks now. So today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate your notebooks. Um, these can be school notebooks, these can be normal, just notebooks for random stuff. Uh, you name it, I will be showing you how to decorate these notebooks. They're really cute, they're really cool, and I like them a lot. Now, these are three of the four? Yeah, the three of the four I decorated. The other one's on my stool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'll be showing you how to decorate composition books and spiral notebooks in this tutorial. So if you'd like to learn how to make these lovely notebooks, then keep on watching for the tutorial. So first, I'm going to show you how to decorate your notebooks using scrapbooking paper. So first, you will need your notebook. I'm using a composition book just for demonstration. However, it's almost the same as spiral and some paper. Because I'm using a composition book, I need two pieces of paper. And to save my pretty pattern paper, I'm going to just use a cardstock piece in a color that matches. So you will see it will look something like this when it is finished, so yeah. All right, so now I'm going to lay my paper where I want it, uh, which is right against the binding of the notebook. So just figure out what type of paper you want. If it's a pattern paper and it has a like, bottom, make sure it's good. And now you're going to get some tape which seems odd considering most of the time tape rips paper however what you're going to do is you're going to take a strip off and you're going to pat it on your hand uh, if you have sweaty hands you won't have to do as much uh, my hands are particularly dry when i was doing this notebook so it took me a couple times but you're just going to coat the tape in some of your body oil so you know it's isn't as sticky then you're going to stick it down I'm waiting. Come on, stick it down already. Uh, but then you want to stick it down on the edge. Uh, don't do it the way I did. Do it um, more like this. <laughs> See, I fixed it. Now, on to cutting your paper. Um, the technique I'm using, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right now. Um, you could use scissors if you would like, but I'm going to be using an X-Acto knife. Um, however, I haven't got it yet, as you can tell. Um, so right now, I'm just making sure the paper and the binding are exactly the way I want when I flip it over. And everything is good, because once you cut it, there's no going back. Um, so, you know, you can also just, if you're using scissors, you could always trace over the paper or pencil. However, I am just going to be using an X-Acto knife. I would probably recommend using a cutting board. However, because I didn't feel like going and getting the cutting board, I didn't. So I'm just going to cut along the edges. This is great if your notebook has curved edges, such as a composition book or say a notebook that has slightly curved edges. Very good. So once it's cut out, you're going to want to remove the excess paper. Um, if you, you'll see in a moment, I had a few issues with mine, as in I cut it a little short. However, I do fix that as the tape is pretty easily just, so see, I cut it a little short. Um, so I'm just removing any of the excess paper that was left behind, that was still for some reason attached. And I'm taking the tape off and realigning it. Since the tape is semi-sticky, it's not fully sticky, you can easily remove it and replace it. However, each time you remove and replace it, it's probably going to get a little less 
strong. So just be careful with it. So now I'm just laying it down where it needs to be. And in a moment, I will put my tape back on the edge. Same way. Definitely make sure a lot of the tape is on the binding though. So you can pull it up instead of it being right on the edge of the paper. As you do need something to grab onto later when we pull off the tape. Now that we've got that done, it's time to add some glue and glue this paper down. I'm using Mod Podge, but any liquid glue should work. You could use a glue stick, and in that case, you probably would, because I'm using a liquid glue uh, uh, or fluid or whatever, you know what I mean. Um, I definitely need to do so. Just make sure your tape's aligned. As you see, I'm fixing it. That was a little off. It was a little off center. It's a little crooked. So I'm just going to quickly fix that. And I am about to add a little more tape just because of the fact, you know, want to be absolutely sure it's not going to move as I wouldn't want it being wonky. However, don't put a bunch of pieces on. Just put, you know, three or five. All right. So now for actually gluing. I wouldn't do my paintbrush, but you can use a sponge if you would like. Um, I just prefer paintbrushes over sponge brushes. I tried a sponge brush, did not like it. Never been a big fan of sponge brushes. So now you just want to coat your notebook in it. And as you see, I uh, put a piece of paper underneath um, the first on top of the first page. Definitely do this because you don't want your notebook glued together. Um, your actual pages in that case. So now you want to put on that piece of paper and you firmly put it on. Then you want to take off the tape because you coated it in your body oil before putting it on. It won't be as sticky and it will not rip the paper. As you see, I had a little complication there. You gotta be careful as one of my spiral notebooks, I messed up on this step and actually had to leave it on. So there you go. Um, all you have to do now is coat it in one final layer of Mod Podge. And the te technique is exactly the same for spiral notebooks, just on the spirals. Now I'm going to show you how to paint a notebook instead of covering it with paper, since sometimes painting will be better. So I'm just going to put a piece of paper. Uh, finally, a use for those printer head alignments you have so many of. So now I'm just going to close this notebook once I have that nice firmly in don't want any paint on the edges um, so in a moment I'm going to squeeze some acrylic paint directly on I'm using this folk all white it sucks but well uh, at least to get out of the bottle it was better when it was new so I'm just gonna add a few drops of that around the notebook and then I'm going to brush that on don't worry if you get any on the spirals uh, you can just easily scrape that off later It took me four coats to get it opaque enough that I was like, you know what, I don't care. So now, because I want to draw on the notebook, I'm sketching out my design with yellow, with a yellow color pencil because yellow is going to be the color of this. And it's just a pretty good sketch color, so it's pretty noticeable. Now I'm going over my lemon slices with a Sharpie and my lettering with a micron pen because I wanted a song lyric um, notebook. So I put some song lyrics on it. Uh, definitely look up your lyrics and don't worry if you mess up like I did with the in here. You can always take a little acrylic paint and go over that before sealing it with your final coat of Mod Podge. And there you have it, notebooks. Alrighty everyone, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you decide to make one of your own notebooks following this tutorial, of course with differences because I say each notebook you make should be a little unique. Tag me on Instagram, I am let's see for 29, same spells as here, because I would really like to see your notebooks, because I, I still, I, I really think these notebooks are really cool, and I'd like to see what you come up with and what cool decorating ideas you have. Well, anyway, as, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Anyway, as always, like this video if you like this video, favorite this video if you favorite this video, comment your opinions, and subscribe if you want to. Peace out, have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.